Getting sick of AI usage limits? Are you worried about your privacy when you send data to ChatGPT? Maybe you're about to go on a long trip and you wanna make sure you can use AI even without internet access. If any of these concerns sound familiar, you need to start running AI locally. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray, the workflow company. In this video, I'm gonna explain the difference between running AI locally compared to using apps like ChatGPT. I'll cover the pros and cons of local AI, and then I'll show you how to get started with some easy apps like LM Studio and Diffusion B. If you wanna see more AI automation and workflow videos every week, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. First, let's define these terms a bit and explore what it means to use AI locally. Online tools like ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini are the most common ways to use AI right now. Here's how these tools work. You send a request from your computer over the internet to the AI company's servers where it's processed and a response is generated. Then the response is sent back to you. So all your machine is actually doing is sending the message and seeing the replies. It's not running the AI itself. When you run AI locally, the actual model is stored on your device and your requests never leave your machine. To do this, you need to have an AI model downloaded to your computer and you need specialized software to run that model. Some examples of this software include LM Studio, Diffusion B, and Comfy UI. So that's how running AI locally works in a nutshell. But why would someone want to do this? Well, there are five key advantages to running AI locally. First, there are no usage limits. Apps like ChatGPT will limit your daily responses, especially if you're using the free plan. When running locally, you can send as many prompts as you want. It's your computer and your resources, so no one can set limits except you. Second, it's free. You don't need to pay any kind of subscription to run AI on your own machine. Some apps for running AI locally may have their own fees, but options like LM Studio, Diffusion B, and Diffusers are all completely free. The only cost is your electricity bill. Third, you get improved privacy compared to using cloud-based AI. OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google can see every message you send to their AI tools and usually include it in their training data. By contrast, running AI locally, your messages won't be sent over the internet, and Google, Anthropic, and OpenAI will never see your messages at all. Now, to be clear, I can't guarantee that every local AI app has perfect privacy or that it will meet your organization's standards for security. Be sure to check the data collection policies of the specific apps you're considering, particularly before using them at work. But in principle, local activity is much less exposed than prompts that run in the cloud. Fourth, you get offline access. If you're in an area with spotty internet, running AI locally lets you access AI tools without needing a strong, stable connection. This is great if you need to do some AI work on the road, in a plane, or on the beach. In fifth, you get your choice of model. You're not limited to models from a single company. You can choose from a wide range of models, IBM Granite, open source versions of ChatGPT, and many, many others. And a lot of these models are fine-tuned to excel at specific tasks, industry applications, and niche use cases. Now, all that being said, there are also some cons to weigh against the pros. The biggest downside overall is that good AI models are large and resource intensive. Processing the billions of parameters contained in the models requires a lot of RAM and VRAM, it's especially resource intensive to work with images and video. If you're using a run-of-the-mill laptop, you're going to be limited in the models you can choose and operate effectively. You'll typically need to stick with smaller, simpler models with fewer parameters. Also, the less computing power you're working with, the slower the AI's answers will be. Remember, it's actually running on your computer, so it's going to be limited by your hardware. The other major con is that you don't get access to the latest best models from OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google. They don't wanna give these things away for free, so you have to use open source alternatives instead. But ultimately, I wouldn't let these drawbacks dissuade you right off the bat. It's totally free to download these tools and try them out, so I'd encourage you to get some firsthand experience to decide whether or not you wanna use local AI in your workflows. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to get started with a couple of local AI apps. But first, I wanna quickly tell you a bit about X-Ray. At X-Ray, we help organizations of any size to design and implement a better way to work. Our first priority is to clean up your most critical workflows and to get them producing the results you need. Then we use tools like automation and AI to start making everything even faster. If you'd like to learn more and book a free call, just go to xray.tech. We offer a long-term retainer for total workflow transformation, as well as flexible hourly support for smaller projects. Reach out today to get started. Now let's see how running AI locally works in practice. I'll quickly walk you through the setup of two free apps, LM Studio, which is great for working with text, and Diffusion B, which lets you generate images. There's another app I mentioned, Comfy UI, but we're not gonna be covering that today. 
You can generate some amazing videos with it and create powerful AI workflows, but it's much more complicated than apps like LM Studio and Diffusion B. That's a subject for a whole other video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see an in-depth tutorial about it. Let's start with LM Studio. First, download the app and open it up. You can find links for LM Studio and Diffusion B in the resources board in the description. When you open up the app, I recommend choosing Power User Mode, even for complete beginners. Don't be intimidated by the term. Going with the user mode just hides some essential features and honestly makes it harder and more confusing to use in my opinion. Once it's installed, you'll need at least one AI model to use. With LM Studio, you can download models right from the app. For other tools, or to get models that aren't directly available through LM Studio, you may need to go to a third-party repository for AI models like Hugging Face. Click on the folder icon to access models or download new ones. You'll see several options here. Note that the default model they choose for you during installation may be too resource intensive for your computer. For example, it wouldn't run on a 2020 M1 MacBook in our tests. If that's the case, you may want to choose something lighter like Quen 3 or IBM Granite 4 Micro. By the way, these B tags, 4B, 20B, and so on, refer to billions of parameters included in the model. More parameters usually means better performance, but it also means higher resource requirements. If you want to compare the technical capabilities of each model in detail, you can visit livebench.ai to view various benchmarks. Once you've downloaded a model, go to the chat tab and load your model into this dropdown. Now you can send your prompts and use it just like ChatGPT or Claude, more or less. The speed will depend on your hardware. As you can see in our example, it's quite a bit slower than ChatGPT in a browser, but it's totally free, has no usage limits, and runs without an internet connection. Now let's take a look at generating images locally with Diffusion B. The setup is very similar to LM Studio, but even easier. Just download the app, open it up, and pick a model. There's a default model you can use, but it's not great. It gives you output like this. And this might have been the cutting edge of AI in 2022, but we can do a lot better now. For instance, I'll try choosing a different model like Blue Pencil XL, which looks like it should be good for anime or illustration. Give it a prompt and adjust these settings on the left however you'd like, then send your prompt. It can take a little while, but you should get your image in a few moments. Here's mine, generated with the same laptop as we were using for LM Studio. Not bad at all for a quick request with zero prompt engineering. And again, no cost and no usage limits. You can regenerate as many images as you want with a tool like this. The only limits come from the power of your own hardware. Cloud-based AI has become one of the biggest industries in the world, and for good reason. You can't beat the convenience. But if you're looking for a free alternative with no usage limits and better privacy, then you should give local AI tools a try. Download apps like LM Studio and Diffusion B to get started, and let me know what you think in the comments below. If this video helped you out, like and subscribe to the channel for more AI and automation updates every week. You can also find me and my company X-Ray by searching for X-Ray Automation on nearly every social media platform. For now, I've got to go. So until next time, find your focus, stay in flow.